here's just a handful of examples. The most serious incident was the one that the headline on the top left, a rabbi in London who was beaten up really badly by two guys who just saw him in his car and, and saw that he was Jewish. Loads of stuff on social media, you see on the bottom left, threat to attack, you know, Zionists, as it puts it in Manchester, but it then goes on to describe Zionists, uh, you know, it talks about pay up, about side curls being cut off, so it's clearly using Zionist as a, a synonym uh, for Jew. Uh, and that is something that we definitely saw a lot of during the conflict. And the one on the right, the, the main picture is graffiti on the door of a messianic synagogue in Norwich. Norwich is uh, a town in, in England with a very small Jewish community. People said that Corbyn was anti-Semitic and they gave all kinds of ways in which Corbyn was anti-Semitic. And this MP said, well, how do I defend Corbyn? And he started defending Corbyn and the only way you can defend somebody who's accused of anti-Semitism, if they are anti-Semitic, is by mobilizing anti-Semitic defenses. So he found himself, because he was in the position of wanting to defend Corbyn and his movement, he found himself reaching for anti-Semitic ideas and anti-Semitic arguments. And in the end, in a sense, he was too honest and too open because he said the anti-Semitic things more openly and more clearly than everybody else. And in the end, the Labour Party expelled him and he was very angry and he said, why don't you expel everybody else? <laughs> and they said, ha ha ha. I think it's very important to have a much richer understanding of democracy. The democracy is not just about voting in elections. The democracy is also about the protection of minority rights, or at least liberal democracy is also about the protection of minority rights. And to do that, we need not just voting, but a whole range of institutions. So I've mentioned the free press, I've mentioned universities, I've mentioned the House of Lords. I would also add, of course, trade unions, but also the institutions of civil society. So clubs, art, religion, civil society, uh, businesses where people can earn their living away from the state. Uh, when the Unite the Right held a white supremacist rally of neo-Nazi groups in Charlottesville in 2017, Americans were shocked by their chance the Jews will not replace us. And shock turned to horror as anti-Semitic attacks grew more deadly over the next several years. From the attacks in Pittsburgh that killed 11, to the Chabad congregation shootings that left one dead, and many asked how could this have happened? They should not have been surprised. These shootings are part of a long-standing battle that stretches back to the end of World War II, when soldiers returned with two radically different visions of the nation's future, and we're willing to kill for them. Russia today has 5.8 million followers, and this is only on YouTube. These are not the other, this is not Facebook, and this is not Instagram or, or TikTok. Um, and ITV is, is not Israel's state-funded network, but it is it's kind of the only alternative that Israel has in communicating its messages through mainstream media. Israel does not have an equivalent of Russia today or Iran's Hispan TV. And so these actors are able to dominate the narrative regarding Jews and Israel because of the investments that they're making in the content that they're producing and the number of views and publicity that they're getting. Today, there are eight to 10,000 Jews in Iran. Now, there have been from time to time, they are trying to be kind to the, to the Jews. And they say, for example, they, they want to use the Jews. It's the interest of the Islamic regime to uh, uh, to be nice to the Jews. They show the world, you see, we are nice. But when they need, there is a Jewish community organized there, and there is a seat in parliament for a Jew. Whenever they want to speak against, against Netanyahu, they have the Jewish representative, who is better to speak the truth about Israel, Zionism, and the Prime Minister of Israel, be it Netanyahu or someone else.